Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React Time, Office Bloke Dave. Hi, I'm Office Bloke Mike. Office Bloke Dance. Together we are the Office Blokes. Yep. Mm. There you go, true factual statement. Yep. We have not just half recorded a reaction, realised we may have recorded a reaction to it before, stopped I and think, then started again. So I think it's just put together by a different <clears throat> person, but it's a similar sort of content. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The first bit was definitely a bit we've seen before, so, yeah. uh, so we did so we'll try again. Famous Comedians versus Hecklers Part 2 and Hannibal... Burris, Hannibal Burris. Yeah. Um, that bit we've seen without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah. remember that. Yeah, yeah, whether we've seen that compilation before or not, I'm not sure. But yeah. we did like, risk it because he was on for quite a while, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's not worth it. So we're skipping ahead and we're going for number six. Six of six. They're all going to be the same, aren't they? There's no follow on. There's not like yeah. you have to have watched five to watch six. No, no, no. I guess it's just a way of making sure you haven't seen it before. Correct. Number exactly. four's out now. But well, yeah, we can't keep track of all that. Yeah. Nonsense, can we? <laughs> Fresh trim as well, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Straight yeah, from the barbershop. Yeah. Straight from the barbershop. Second day without a hat. You're not itchy. I can't have, I have to get straight in the shower after I've had done. I'll wash it at the shop. They do a pretty good job of like the you do, you do, yeah. Yeah. I know where you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was all right. And they had Homestead Rescue on in the barbershop, which is one of my favourite shows. Oh right, nice. Lovely. So, you he was obviously watching it when he was cutting your hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I was laughs> <cutting your hair. laughs> He's missed half of it. <laughs> Anyway, let's do this. This is Famous Comedians versus Hecklers, part six of six. That was a really shitty place to pause. I needed to know. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't have done that to Joe Rogan. I doubt it. I doubt it. What are you there for if you get offended? I know, oh, yeah. Move along. <laughs> What are you saying, Vicky? Dance for me, monkey boy. <laughs> <laughs> See your fella. Well, well, what do you mean? He's either your fella or he isn't. Is he your fella? <laughs> They're fuck buddies. <laughs> oh! How very modern. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> Can we just all take a moment to, you know, congratulate that man there? <laughs> a lot of work has gone into that. And they'll know that you're a dead little hussy. <laughs> The thing about that is that he's convinced you that, yeah, we don't need a relationship. <laughs> I'm with whoever I want to sleep with. And so should you, as long as it's just me. <laughs> when I say... <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of jokes. <laughs> not every day I get to talk to a slag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the mark is until I overstep it. That's my... <laughs> that is juvenile. That, sorry, for those of you that didn't see that, yeah, she's been called a slag at a show. That's not good in anyone's book, and I apologise for that unreservedly, but did you really need to do that? <laughs> God bless you. Hold on. Uh, Looked to me like the wow. guy was getting a bit wound up there as well. Yeah, yeah. it was a little bit, I was trying to see if he had a wedding ring on. <coughs> I was going to say, yeah. yeah. He was probably, yeah. keeping his left arm out of sight, wasn't he? He was trying to, he, I think he was squirming a bit there, wasn't he? Was, he? he was towards the end, out. I think he was getting a bit angry. Yeah. It looked like when Jimmy Carr called her a slag, the guy started to clap mm. and the camera panned away. You know, like, hey, go oh, shit. That's not <laughs> yeah. the only girl he's got on the go. I'd say up to nothing. But I, I think you may be right, I though. don't think you'll just know about it, though. <laughs> exactly. I think you're right. Yeah. Hey, dog, where y'all going? We just can't have the front row empty. Bring your ass back. You kicking him up? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, where are y'all going? Okay. Okay. Is that their coat? Let me see. Damn. That, give me the coat. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Kind of heavy. <laughs> Need some hardware. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was gonna come back. <laughs> Left something, didn't you? What you do for a living, Boogie? Oh, computer school. 
computer school. Mm. Let me rephrase the question. How do you earn money? Technology. Computer technology. Boogie, you can't spell motherfucking technology. <laughs> 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 I wonder why they all got up that and left. Steve Harvey, brilliant. I don't know. They're probably just going to the bar. That's just the comedy bit, though. You can't leave over someone taking a piss out. You can't. Don't sit on the front row, especially if that's exactly. the case. Yeah, you'd have to be shot, aren't you? Yeah. But why would you come back and sit back down? You unless it's cold. Yeah, but unless you were going to the bar and you left your coat there to yeah. come back. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. You still don't do it. You might have had a call out to do a, a new networking job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some computer some technology, some technology, <laughs> some dodgy going on there. <laughs> Definitely. Out. A lot of times, people just don't know the rules. And then she felt strongly about Syria, and they had to shut her down. <laughs> I envy. Oh wow, wow. You, you forgot your jacket. Now you're going to have to make the walk of shame for your jacket. <laughs> I, lo I love when people get offended for absolutely nothing. Like you just sat through rape and abortion and child molesting and fist fucking. But Syria, that's where it all falls apart. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did you read that across mm. the bottom? Yeah. His yeah. mum used to take him to AA meetings when he was a kid so he could listen to the stories of all the drunks. All right. And now he's a drunk <laughs> alcoholic that tells stories. Uh, so that's what I miss about comedy clubs is the people who just show up not having any idea who you are. <laughs> like you play wherever and I play rock and roll clubs. And they, 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 what's that? Yeah, yeah, you can kind of put a little effort into your Saturday. <laughs> we'll just throw a dart at the weekly. Hey, honey, what do we have a coupon for? <laughs> <laughs> Drive safe. <laughs> Was it the... There you go. Yeah. If you sit there, you have to pay their tab. <laughs> uh, what's that? Oh, yeah, drink their fucking beer, too. <laughs> yeah, give me a sip. Give me a sip. Oh, just... All right. Anything with a vowel in it. <laughs> Someone's got to admit to that. That's wonderful. Who wrote that? Do you know? Do you know what? Just can you can you go, please? Can you go? No, you're not enjoying it, so can you just go, please? No, no, no. It's fine. Honestly, just just go. No, 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 no. no. Honestly, no, no. See, the thing is, because could you get someone, Simon? Because I've asked you now about four times, and I think no, no, no. I have, and you're not going to enjoy the show. And no, you're not. Well, I'm not having him here. So how about that? On you go. No, go. Go on. Shh. No, no. Shut up. Go. Well, let's put it this way. These people have paid money and I'm not going to do the show while you're here. So you're going to have to go. Otherwise, we'll have to get someone to... No, no, no. That's it now. You've had your, you've had your chance. Gotta say, if you're gonna sit there and just chat, yeah, no, you can't do just that, piss you? off. It's yeah, not it's fair, just, is it? No. Rude, isn't it? No, you only have to watch them, aren't you? So I've been in many comedy shows, like comedy clubs, where you get people just thinking they're there pissed up. Yeah, and you're like, oh, they think they're part of the show, don't they? They, they think they're self, great, and you know, yeah, like I've been to comedy clubs where they say, "Spoke, speak if you're spoken to. If you're not, keep fucking stum. Yeah, don't yeah. say anything. Yeah, yeah. I had people sat in front of me last time I went to the Frog and Bucket that. They thought they were part of the show and they just would not shut up. And mm. all the comics had a word with them at one point. But when you sat behind them, they're directly there. You mm. can hear every word they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they're talking amongst themselves about what they've just said that was clever to the mm. comedian and yeah. stuff. And you're like, fucking shut up. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. annoying. Exactly. Yeah. Like I say, unless a comedian wants to sort of like engage in you, mm. you know, which some of them do, then like I say, just listen yeah. to Yeah. Let me go, mate. Well, you go as well then. Go. Bye. Bye bye. Go away! Nobody wants you here. Go. What? Excuse me. Can you leave? Because you're ruining the show for these people. Go. 
Are you guys going as well then? Come on, look, you may as well all go now. I mean, you've, you've created a kind of tension. The good thing is that I quite like beer. That's quite nice. So it's fine. No, 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 it's all right. Go on, go on. I, I'm sorry, I don't, want, I don't want you here, so you'll have to go. I don't want the front row here. Honestly, just go, because the show's not going to happen if you're here. Sorry. Well, I, I'm sorry, but you are a part of that, that group, okay? okay? All right, thank you. Now look, the thing about the fringe is sometimes it can get quite exciting, right? So, sometimes I think you need a bit of theatricality. These guys are actually a plant, right? I wanted this shit to go down, right? Because I sort of believe, you know, I, just, I think just telling jokes is boring, right? I think it's much better if you get sort of physically assaulted. I think that's a good idea. And the drama's still going on. Are you really stressed about this, aren't you? I'm a bit... I don't like to see this. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's from Coronation Street. <laughs> I don't like really it. know. I don't like to see this. <laughs> yeah, I think he's uh, he switched it pretty quick. Being, you know, saying it's been a part of it. it's a plant. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's clawing it back because yeah. up until that point, it's a bit awkward. It's, yeah, it's, it's awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it's mm. like apologising to him over and over again, but telling them they've got to go. It was like it's like a teacher, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but he's he's got it back with that whole plant mm. thing. I know, I know. Isn't it hard? <laughs> I know. But that's the beauty of the theatre, right? People don't like King Lear, they don't like the bit where he stabs his eyes out, right? But you know, that's great. It's really visceral, it's important, right? It's good. Oh, no. She's always saying it's like my fault or something. You know, I can't account for the cunts in my audience. I know, well, I... I know, it's tough, isn't it? You're getting flashbacks to the nun, aren't you? I bet nothing like this happened with her, right? No, look, it's, uh, now I feel like I have to kind of, you know, help her through her trauma. You know? And it's, it's kind of tough, isn't it, right? It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Jeez, right, look, okay, let's all just take it. No, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm fi fine. Believe me, I've had worse than that, right? Because I'm a menacing cunt, right? Let's all, like... <laughs> let's all she needs to go outside and have a go at someone for skateboarding in the uh, street yeah, or something. Yeah, like, like yeah. getting Karen vibes, isn't wow. it? On a few octaves as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's piercing, isn't it? Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. It's not about you. I know. It's not about... That's the same thing they were doing, but in a very different form, yeah. isn't it? Yep. He's the one covered in a drink. <laughs> Take a big, deep intake of breath, right? Come on. All right, it's fine. And it'll be okay, all right? <laughs> She's actually having a panic attack. I mean, normally that would be because we're in this fucking nasty Fritzl's basement, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> With no possibility of escape in the event of a fire, right? But... It's true. You should be worried about that. You should worry that I've got these hastily erected lighting rigs with condensation creeping down, right? That's more scary. It's fine. She's okay. I'm okay as well. It's fine, right? It's okay. But you know what? No, listen. Sorry, what's your name? What's your name? Catherine. Oh, God. I'm heartbroken on your behalf. The thing is, though, right? When you tell people about this, it'll be an interesting story, right? Yeah, good. There we go. So you get a good anecdote at my expense. Thank you. <laughs> Great, right? Okay. Okay. And now the stranger is offering to hold her hand, so... Oh, no, you're okay? She's fine. Good. You're good. Thank God for him. You know, you're fucking, you're fucking St. Bernard sitting there with you, yeah? There's a barrel of brandy around his neck. Help him. You can't get your... Is it, is it me now, is it? The whole experience. It has been too stressful. It's worse than 9-11 in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> she proper stressed me out hey, oh no I bet you bet you prefer to have some other three blokes back than have a nurse sat in the front row I think if it had been there well, I'd have actually gone fuck off yeah. <laughs> for god's sake <laughs> not enough <laughs> or I'd have got up and fucked off <laughs> surprised she didn't ask for the manager she just had yeah. those vibes yeah. Yeah. sweaty palms listening to her going on oh my god just her sat in the audience at the end of the set yeah. but yeah. everyone else sort of buggered off still giving it the big we probably won't even to the end uh, I know yeah well, it's, it's so unnecessary. Like it, everyone in that crowd is going to be pissed off at some knobheads chatting the whole mm. time. But you yeah. don't, you don't. <laughs> I kind of lost it. I think he lost it a little bit there. Lost the room a little bit. Yeah, maybe. What yeah. with her? Yeah, potentially. Mm. He got it back with the nine eleven and the Fritz Hall's basement yeah, yeah, and things yeah, yeah. like that. If he come out yeah. with that a first thing and then just moved on, probably would have been better. You should have just moved on. Yeah. Yeah, mm. but uh, 
Mm. Anyway. It's pretty common, this sort of stuff, though. Comedians getting drinks thrown on them or punched the and stuff. Yeah. I've never been to the Fringe. Yeah, especially there. It's like, because it's one after the other. Yeah. It's like there's about 50, 50 comedy clubs all doing different ones every 15, 20 minutes. It's constant wow. movement. Yeah. You go around all the different ones. It's in and out, in and out. Yeah. So I think they're constantly going, moving from one place to another. So you could, like... You could get the same audience. You could go yeah. there expecting Doug Stanhope and get some sort of, like, feminist comedy or... Like a lot of people don't know what they're going yeah, for. Yeah, a lot of them you don't, you've never heard of before. Yeah. You know, they're up and coming comedians, sort of thing. And sometimes yeah. you get the big headliners. Right. I'm done. Okay. Sorry, just got enough $9,000 to fucking fly here. You know what I mean? Yeah. No offense, but there's no Eiffel Tower here. I think that's a little pricey. <laughs> Thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> Bilbo's the king. Oh, isn't need more yeah, you see, there. you see the difference in class. Sort of like when you see, you know, a, a, a smaller, younger, up and coming comedian. When you yeah. see Bill Burr in his prime, <clears throat> yeah, you see the difference, don't you? Of like it's professionalism and absolute top, yeah. top, top professionalism. Yeah. I think a lot of is. people have always had an air of like they're desperate to succeed as a comedian mm. and they're trying the hardest to keep the room. Whereas, like, when Bill Burr just goes, he loses it. He's like, mm. I don't give a fuck about any of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can all piss you off. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Massively, yeah. When you've got nothing to lose, you can rant 10 times more effectively. Yeah. Than... He just doesn't care, does he? No. Which is, makes it great. He'll say anything, yeah. do anything, but straight to the point. He's doing a mm -hmm. uh, European tour. Oh, he is. Bill Burr. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's like, I'm sure I saw it the other day, and it's about 10 dates, and there's no UK on it. No That's UK? Right. <clears throat> wow. It's only in Turkey around June 10th. No. <laughs> <laughs> two birds one stone and all exactly that. Yeah. yeah i saw it on instagram and there's comments you know people saying what about uk dates and then there's loads of people saying it says european tour mate you guys aren't in europe and we are and then there's loads of comments like you idiot <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah i had yeah. someone the other day yeah doing the same thing you're not in europe and i went well where are we then yeah if we're not in europe we're not in the eu i get that the european union yeah, we're different. certainly in Europe. Yeah, what Absolutely. continent? We're in Africa now. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're Africa. When, we, when we removed ourselves from the EU, we moved the island. Yeah, it moved the so island. I said, right, we've got to move out of the Europe. So we've, I guess we're just on our Did way that? somewhere, are we? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. We're we're not, be better. Maybe not, we are, because the weather's great. Weather, the weather, yeah, so that's, that's maybe nice. we'll move off a little the, bit further south, just off the coast of Africa. Maybe we'll just yeah. off the Cape of Good Hope yeah. at the moment. Yeah, 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 somewhere like that. I'd like to go somewhere near Tenerife. Yeah, yeah, that's great. We need to go. We need to go to the coast to see Blackpool's overlooking Mount Tide now. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Because we're not in Europe. I love that. I know. I know. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on Bill Burr, though, because I think ah. he'll come to the UK. I wish we had yeah. more stuff of his, of his to react to. It's not really like do. it's not like Bill Burr to not come to the UK. His, his last special was filmed here. No, the, the one before, sorry, was filmed. Well, I think he's a Liverpool fan, yeah. isn't he, as well? So I yeah. think he likes yeah. a lot of Liverpool, doesn't he? Yeah. He's from there. Yeah, was someone from there, from his family? Was one of his parents from there or something? Or I, don't I, don't think know, a, I think he's a Liverpool oh. fan by the Fenway group on Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that's what it is. He's Irish and right. German, his family. Yeah. Right, okay. So, I mean, the Irish side could have ties with Liverpool. They usually do, don't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, yeah, a lot of Irish there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah. Good. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys.